Oh, it's recording. Hey, YouTube. It's uh, Project Garage here. Um, today, I'm going to be uh, talking about my golf cart. So, yeah. I got the leaf springs all painted in a black undercoat from a rust check. Um, so I got that, I got those done, got the shocks done, my dog, and I, got, I have the rear end done already, uh, weld the sprocket on it, run the sprocket up to the motor, then we're going to weld the tensioner, so then it'll go around the motor so to speak, and then tension and then come back around, so that... It doesn't slip off or or any shit like that one from the torque. So the golf cart right here. All right, there's my golf cart or go cart. I'll be talking about in a minute. Oh, probably a couple other videos after this bad beast is done. So rear end goes. Obviously in that space, right? And what I was thinking, so the mo the that's where the battery sat, right up in there, six and six, right. So I might cut that cross member out, and well put platform, well the platform in there for the motor. I don't know yet. I want to get the motor first and see. I'm thinking I have to cut that out anyways because it's angle iron. And then get square tubing and weld the square tubing in there. Maybe like a cross or something like that. But then have the rear end sits about like right there. And then the you have the pin. And what I'm going to do is maybe weld a piece of bar to that. Put a sprocket on line it up obviously and then I'm thinking cut cutting this out somewhere weld the tensioner onto this part of the angle iron sorry if you can't see that and then as the chain rotates around it's gonna keep tension it's just like on a bike on a pedal bike at the back where they have the tensioner so I got a Couple of other. So besides that, that's for the whole motor. I'm getting a 13 horse. I think it's a Kohler. And I'm pretty sure it's a Kohler. Uh, obviously a throttle. Going to get rid of all these wires. Getting it rid of this. Brakes were shot. Cut all the brakes off. Today I'm going to be working on the body. That guy. And the big piece. Also for towing, especially that heavy bitch with all our garbage in it. I made this today. Now let alone, that's not going to be there, stay there. That's getting cut. And this is getting cut smaller. Just because this is about as, as high as the... Might be a little higher because those tires go on it. But, and this is probably going to get cut down, but that's basically... I already fitted it up while well, my girlfriend was here. We both picked it up and we drilled this out so that fits through that one. But what I find is, I don't know if you can see if we'll be able to see this. Probably not, but it's really, these are like really flexible. So I think once the rear ends in, I have the leaf springs on. I'm gonna weld a bar across, ooh, across there to there on the inside though. So from like here, like somewhere there to over there. That's what I'm thinking. And that should make it a little, a little more sturdy. And then maybe from that square tubing run like bars run a bar from in the middle to the square tubing 
But I don't know. That's that's the plan for that. I want to work on the bodies today. I want to get them all sanded. Because we decided to do a matte black. A golf cart. The body, or the chassis frame, is getting gator guard, which is a bed liner. I'll show you. We have an empty can in the garage. So, it's going to get bed linered. Top to bottom, I want to do that before I put the motor in. Well, I want to get, I want to, no, I want to get the motor first, mock up where it's going to go, weld in new pieces, rear, put the rear end in, then take off the motor and stuff, and then so I can put, we can get or guard the stuff that got welded in, so I don't have to grind down the, the bed liner and then weld stuff I tried putting that rust check stuff on here but I, it's, I don't like it so I'm gonna get those in the garage and part of the, it's probably gonna be part of this video that uh, I was setting this up and getting it ready to get sanded well it's all sanded now as you can tell just scuffed up a little bit. Um, get a better shot of it of both of them. So yeah, that's the plan. I took I took a rotary gun. This guy. It's the only attachment I could find. And uh, worked along here. Sort of smoothing it out because it was it was looking like that. I tried my best on these ones, but I'm just thinking I'll take the grinder and go straight up. Like right there. Get that off. So there's that. There's the back half. I'll take you around. Uh, here's the front. Uh... I don't know if you guys have seen his videos, but in Tyler Falco's, one of his videos for his car, he sort of showed me this, that uh, if you have holes you don't want, and filling it with Bondo would be a bitch, so he just spray foam it. Once this dries two hours, after two hours you can cut it, so just cut that smooth, so not like this. This one was already done, but I just had to put a little more on. It should look like that. And then I'm going to bond to it. And I'm going to do it to all these holes. Same thing. I'm going to put a bond over them. So any holes you see there. Any holes you see here. There. 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 All in there. These ones I'm keeping. Put all there because I'm not putting... putting these back on because I don't want it. So yeah, there's that. Um, Sorry, it's a short video today. Uh, I gotta go to work till 9. So when I probably come home, I'll probably cut those, that's that foam. And that's probably about it. Um, this I'm, I'm, I took out yesterday so it doesn't get painted over. I covered up the number. I didn't have no prepping tape, so I used... Uh, Electrical, just for now. Those holes are getting covered. Where that light bar, you know, where the light bar used to be. So yeah. I'm also debating. Let me guys know if I should uh, cut that straight off. Sorry about the lighting, but if I should cut that, like sort of like with the body line, just straight down. All right. So let me know if I should do that or not. Alright, uh, thanks.